Now, but this is what the Lord showed me in each state, and really I don't know that of, and this is from Second Chronicle, Chronicles 20. See, there's a confederation of the demonic in each state trying to stomp the move of glory up the East Coast and trying to stop this move from connecting with the West. And you find that whole concept here in chapter 20 of Second Chronicles. After this, the Moabites, the Am- Ammonites, and with them the Munites came against Jehoshaphat, to battle. In other words, they confederated against Jehoshaphat's rule for the future. And it was told Jehoshaphat, a great multitude has come against you from beyond the Dead Sea, from Edom, and behold, they are in Hazazon, Tamar, which is it is in Engedi. Then Jehoshaphat feared and set himself determinedly as his vital need to seek the Lord, and he called a fast for Israel. Now, one of the reasons I sense we're here is there is there is going to be an unprecedented unity arise within these colonies, which are now states. And you're going to have a word where you are the prototype of example for a whole nation to follow. And that's why God keeps coming and dealing with you and pulling you together. Uh, I think Trisha or Cheryl or any of you in this room uh, could have uh, the Brunickis, any of you could have given the message for today but there's something about how when God brings me with you he pulls you together that's it in a nutshell he 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 brings you together so you can hear a statement like I just made there's an unprecedented developed unity that will extend a call from this area, the battlefield for America, into all of America. And you will create, you're creating the prototype for that. In other words, you'll know something that is going to happen. You'll know something that is going to go on. You will gather together because you've got a great database here. And I'm trying to be practical with you. You've got a great database of communication here. But then you will get that revelation into the right place, and it will go out all across the nation. Now, that's important for you because God hadn't been dealing with you all these years not to going to use your clearing clarion watchman voice in days ahead and that's why we're here for this this morning and so what Jehoshaphat did was he knew he had to call a fast because he had fear he knew this this confederation could take him over and I don't want us to be so faith-filled that we're naive that there are confederations working against us. Now, in the midst of us understanding that, our faith needs to rise, just like it did here. So he asked for help, and he stood in the assembly, and he looked up at God, and he said, Lord, what is this you're allowing to try to take our inheritance? And that's what the year is really about. What is the war that we will face to take against that confederation taking our inheritance? And, of course, 
as Jehoshaphat, the apostolic type leader, began to worship, the prophetic was released and they got their strategy. Jehoshaphat had to worship first. Now, I, I, we miss some of this a lot of times when we teach it. Jehoshaphat had to fear. Jehoshaphat had to fast. Jehoshaphat had to know his constituency. And when he worshipped, and when he cried out to the Lord and said, wait a minute, our inheritance is on the verge of being lost here with this confederation of enemies. And when he cried out to the Lord, the Lord came down and a pro prophetic voice rose up and gave a strategy. You will, this, is, this battle is not yours, but it's the Lord. But here's what you're going to have to do. You're going to have to go stand at certain place, the river of Ziv, and you're going to have to worship publicly. And when you get to the right place and you worship and you let that sound go up, I'm going to send confusion into the confederation. Now, that's where we are headed this year. And it's not just the Lord will battle for us. No, the Lord said, I will battle for you if you'll get to the right place at the right time and if you worship. So that's really not the right statement we use most of the time. If you get to the river Ziv, if you start worshiping and let the Levites lead us out in worship and that sound goes up, I'm going to come down with you standing there in front of the enemy and I'm going to so confuse them. They're going to turn on each other and then you're going to take everything they leave behind. It's really the pattern for us. So be prepared.